All right. Um, moving, moving, um, moving forward. Just, 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 a, just a little more briefly on this. Let's try to give a little breakdown on the knowledge of self. There's a knowledge of self, the knowledge of self chart that's known as the seven seals, as the seven seals, the seven seals in man, which is often called the chakras. Now, um, let's put this on the board for a moment concerning, concerning the, there, there are the seven seals, right? They're also called chakras or chakras, you understand, chakras, which basically means wheels. But now in the, in the, in the Amharic, these chakras, right, these chakras, which mean wheels, what's very interesting is that, well, the chakras in, in the Hindu means wheels, but then we have the word um, sifra, you understand? And then when we add it as sifra and we add the, the woach, you understand, it makes it plural. And this means measured spaces, measured spaces, something known as measured spaces. Now, the chakras are just that. They're, they're, they're measured spaces. They're certain measured spaces. Now, it's along that, that ladder. There's that ladder. Now, there's the ladder, which is called, often they would say, the ladder is Yaakov's. Yaakov's ladder, right? Or Jacob's. You know, you hear the song about Jacob's ladder, right? Going, going up um, Jacob's ladder, right? Now, what is also now very interesting is now there are these seven seals. Now, let's go over the seven seals in man. The seven seals in man, the first seal is, that, is, is, is the root chakra, is the, is, is, is the so-called root chakra, or the base chakra, which is located as the base of the spine, or what's known as the, 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 the coccyx. You understand? Now, its color is, interestingly enough, its color is red. This is why some people say um, red is on top, but red is really not on top in the, the true holy flag for us as Ethiopian Hebrews and elect Rastafari. Red is the first, but it's the first from ground level. You understand? So now when we address the, 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 the seven seals in man, we also have to recognize and understand that it's the first that we begin, which is called often the root, right? The root. So we have to start with our roots. You understand? We have to start with the knowledge, the knowledge of self, and we have to go to the root. Now, if you recall in um, the the matter concerning the lion of the tribe of Judah, it says that he is the what of David? He is the root, you understand, the root of David. So we must begin with the root. So another reference, when we, you might have seen this before, you know, say you might have seen this before, you know, which is the, the seven seals, and the root is actually right there. Now, the root is right there, but let's understand this root chakra because it's the first chakra that has to be cleansed, has to be cleansed. You understand? It has to be cleansed so that the spirit, you understand, so that the spirit, so that he can dwell in us. He's looking for a, a, a bride, you understand, without what spot or wrinkle. You understand? So when the Bible says to work out our salvation, there is real and practical ways of applying this. There's apps. In other words, spiritually speaking, there's an app for that. You understand? So now here's what's the breakdown of the knowledge of self chart, right? And here is also the breakdown of the apps or the application. You understand? The real world. The real world. We're not just talking spiritualizing things, but now we're bringing this into our walk. Remember, it says that he is the what? He is the, the way, the truth, and he is the life. You understand? He is the way, the truth, and he is the life, which is also threefold. Now, we have the seven seals. 
right? Man is tripartite. Now, how does this this seven and the three and the one go to our um website lojsociety.org and there's a document there or you can search it it's it's called learning to count like i know one the one god i know two the father and the son i know three you understand the holy trinity you understand i know four you understand the four cardinal points the four corners of the cross you understand the perfect square I know five, you understand, the five mysteries, you understand, those five words that Hawaii Apollo said, I prefer to speak five words, you understand, the, the five words with knowledge, Bessima, Ab, Wewelet, Wemenfes, Kedus, Haduamlak, you understand, five, the five mysteries, you understand, I know, I know six, you understand, I know six. What is six now? Think about it for a moment. What is six? What do we find as six? Of course, there's a star, David, that is six, but he created in how many days? In six days. Remember, it's that sixth day that we prepare for the what? The seventh. So keeping the Sabbath reading and feedings, you understand? Is that preparation that the Bible says as study and show thyself approved to God as a workman or man generally or woman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing or explaining, in a way almost like rightly measuring the word of truth, rightly applying, you understand, know the word of truth. So now, when we get to the root chakra, right, its primary color its primary color is red, is red. And if we look at the true order of the, of the banner of salvation, the Ethiopian flag, it's not red up on top, you understand, as the so-called um, gays, homosexual, other nations do it like that, but it's actually the green is up on top. But when we look at the position of the Lion of Judah, you understand, his feet are in the red. Now, you can also get the symbology of red, but the secondary color now of this, the secondary color is black, is black. And here's where we begin. We begin with this red, and we begin with the black. Now, the element is earth. The element is earth, and the functions, take notes of this. Rewind it, just take, take some notes of this until we can, like we said, more pr present a presentation of these teachings, you know, in a documented form. One is responsible, you know what I'm saying, one is responsible for, for um, keeping a, a study diary or a journal. The function now at the root or the base chakra is it gives vitality to the physical body, the life force survival, self-preservation, instincts, instincts. Now, there are glands and organs. The glands and the organs now are the adrenals, are the kidneys, the spinal column, the colon, the legs, and the bone. The gems or the minerals are ruby, garnet, bloodstone, red jasper, black tolamine, obsidian, smoky quartz. There are foods now. Now, this is also very, very important. Remember, in Torah and even in the Kibr Negest, when the 12,000, when the, the kingdom of David is about to be renewed in Ethiopia, in Tobia, in the land of Toba, the good land, one of the first things that Azadius, who is the son of Zadok, the high priest of Solomon, who returned with the, the son of Solomon, the queen of Sheba, along with 1,000 from each of the tribes in Israel to renew the kingdom of David in our African Zion or Ethiopia. If you look at the Kippur and the guests, or the queen of Sheba and his son Minulik, they went through what foods to eat or not to eat. Now people say, well, I can eat whatever. That is not spiritual. That is not, you know, yes, you can eat whatever, but that is not the teaching of the scripture. I know Christianity said you can eat whatever, just pray on it, so forth and so on. But a lot of Christians have, have, have died, 
You know what I'm saying? Perhaps before what would have been a more suitable time for them because of falling from grace, like, like the devil did, falling from grace. What does that mean? That thinking that in grace, you understand, they could directly, you understand, countermand the word and the example of Christ and live. And we're not talking about a small measure. Food is not a, a small thing. Think about it. We're not talking about people who are desperate and might have to eat certain things in a desperate situation. People are making choices. It's like pork. Pork is one of the big foods right there, a big no-no food. And pork byproducts, really debtors, you know, debtors and flesh as, as, as overall, although they say certain products from the sea, whether the algae or whether the fish oil or certain kind of fish, you understand, might, you know, there's, there's a whole back and forth debate that idolists, you understand, go through. We're not going there. The basic food instruction for this root or the base, let's put this right here, the base. Let's put this right here, the base. The base. You understand, the base. Now, all of this is in connection with the first seal to be cleansed. You understand, the first seal to be dealt with. So now, in dealing with the food, this protein, meat and dairy products are not recommended. Meat and dairy products. Now, here's where the link, in a very interesting way, touches on what we call as Rastafari Aital, or what you may hear many of us and many of us as Rastafari, we know as Aital. Some of us dispute whether we should call it Aital or just call it Migab, you know, you know, basically the Migab that he commanded, you know saying, to be eaten. You know what I'm saying? Originally, it was the fruits and the vegetables, and then, of course, after the flood, um, he gave permissive will, you know, to partake of debtors, but along with that whole process of, of the, the, the creation being subjected to this vanity, there would be a, a, a cause and effect. You know, some people have, a, have an idea of God, the true God, as a vengeful, the Old Testament God as a vengeful, uh, a punishing, uh, 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 angry all the time God. But they, they're not really understanding that that the Old Testament, uh, the, the Old Testament, because Christ did not take that veil off their eyes, many prophets did understand that the Almighty would judge or punish but the Almighty is already in his creation. You see, he's in his creation. So when we talk about the law of cause and effect, Christ taught that whatever you um, sow, that shall you reap. You understand? That is a firm law, a firm reality. He didn't say that whatever you sow, that shall you reap, but you can keep sowing this and then hope to reap that and just pray about it. He didn't, he didn't teach that. Yes, the Almighty can intervene, you understand, in his own creation on behalf of his caduce on his loved ones. But for ones to just kind of stretch out on that grace and so the first seeking to be obedient and if not obedient at, at first, at least repentant when you know, when you're caught in your disobedience. You know, self recognition is very important and it's also connected with that first level. Self recognition. You understand? When we're looking at ourselves, instead of looking at the, the other guy, just to kind of be on the other guy, oh, he's this way, he's or she's that way, start to study the word and look at ourselves spiritually in the mirror. You understand? And when we see those errors, when we see, it's, it's like the whole thing for a drug addict or somebody who has some psychological issue to, in today's world from a psychological um, perspective of the world. They say that the person can't really get any help until they acknowledge that they need help. You understand? That right there is just an old spiritual truth. Though they're applying it in this way today, the Bible teaches that very same thing. We have to, you understand, recognize. You understand? We have to, and self-recognize. It's easy for us to recognize the fall, like, like the, the um, speck in our brother's eye. But sometimes, I mean, all of us, I and I included. You understand? This is why it is... It is not like a like a, a one time like a one shot deal or something. It's no deal. We don't deal with the Almighty. You understand? He may have to deal with some of us, but we don't deal. It's a covenant. 
as we explained before in the al teaching, is a covenant. There are assets, blessings, there's liabilities, curses, but it's not that the Almighty says, because you do something wrong and now there's a, there's a negative cycle, he says, oh, I'm going to curse you, I'm angry with you. No, because he is in his creation. You understand? The anger is, 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 that, is that punishing aspect of the creation, the, the, the cause and effect. The like attract alike. These are basic principles, and it will be behoove us to stop believing the counterfeit um, uh, Christian preachers and pastors that tell us that um, the law is no more. Like, like almost like we can live lawless, because we're still we, we are in laws, not under law. We are in laws, and there's the law of Christ. You know what I'm saying? And the so-called Ten Commandments or the Ten Words. They are our, our, our key meditation, reflection. doesn't mean that when we look at them, we're going to be bomb, perfect. You understand? We're going to be just like it. But it gives us a measure, a measurement for those chakras, for those wheels, for those measured places and spaces. You understand? Now, fruits, red fruits and vegetables are highly recommended at this level. So you could actually... Take a, like a seven week, and this is why we're going to prepare a presentation of this. You understand? Although we address some of it, some of the basics concerning the Metaf Kedus and Hala Selassie's Bible, we address some of that in the Rastafari preliminary notes on the HIM um, Hala Selassie and Hard Bible. We address that, that there. But now, how that now links, you understand? Know that links. It's like Torah studies, the five books, is the first level. Moses represents the, the, the angel of order, you understand, within the mystery school of Jesus Christus, the mystery school of Christ. And, yes, there is a mystery school. It's called discipleship. It's called true Christianity. It's like a mystery when you speak about these plain and simple things. They think you're talking like one of these new ages. They say, oh, that's some new age stuff. No, that's, that's Christ's teaching. Christ was already in the new age 2,000 years ago. It's just been taking the rest of us a long time to so-called catch up or to even recognize that. But the qualities and lessons, there's two more categories that we're going to touch on before we move on to the second one, because we want to touch on the first seal. You understand? The first seal that we have to recognize is the root, is the base seal. And the main function of it is that it gives vitality to the phi cycle the phi cycle. Do we have any place to put this right here to the phi cycle? Where, where do we want to put it? By the three? You understand? I'll put it right here, the phi cycle. This is an interesting symbology, the phi cycle. You understand? The phi cycle, the so-called physical, the cycle of the phi. You understand? Cycle of the phi. Look it up at least to get a basic grounding on that. We don't have time to go into much detail, otherwise we will be here a very long time. Foods are protein foods, namely red fruits and vegetables. That as for foods, meat and dairy products are not recommended. Some cannot even begin to muster enough clear spiritual energy to really overcome certain things because some of what is clogging them up so to speak, you understand, is the bad foods. You understand, so things like purgatives, the Essene Gospels of Christ also speaks about this. You understand, whether it's a colonic, whether it's a so-called enema, you understand, you have to remember that true spiritual people, you understand, are not like, like Adam, Adam, where art thou? running around naked all the time and now you recognize it. This is what happens to a lot of ones and ones when they're born again also. You understand, they were naked all the while. You understand, now they violate, you know, they reach for the wrong tree, the wrong fruit, you understand, and then the consequences now come back to them and they recognize, oh, man, I've been naked, you understand, and then when God is coming through the garden to check on his children, they're hiding, they're running away from God. Adam, Adam, where art thou? Well, I heard your voice, I was afraid because I was naked. How, how, how did you recognize you? You was naked and then you recognized something was wrong with you. How did all that happen? It's like when we look at ourselves, where we're at in this world of sin, you understand, as we start to make those progress, that progress dealing with these matters like the qualities. These are the qualities and the lessons of the root or the base chakra, the order level, you understand? The physical body, 
first and foremost, the physical body, the mastery of the body. And for us, for, for Adis Met or Adis Metoch or Metoch or the Dek Amiz Amorid for students and disciples and those interested, the mastery doesn't mean that you're going to become a master overnight or any of us for that matter. But at least we can learn about the body. Like David says, I am wonderfully and fearfully made. You understand, when you really recognize, you know, how much goes in, you understand, to a strand of hair, you understand, or to various aspects of our, of, of, of our so-called creation, you understand, or God's creation of us. In the psalm where David says, you know, I've been wonderfully and fearfully made, you understand, you begin to recognize, then when you recognize what man is doing to man, the injustices, the, the, the lack of love and the bestiality and the demoniac behavior, you understand, all the bloodshed of the innocent, you understand, and destroying this wonderful and fearfully made, you understand, creature called, I mean, is a human being. And it's not to, you know, we're not glorifying the human being in itself. We're glorifying the creator, you understand? And if you think that all of this happened by chance, well, chances are is all I would say right there. But another quality of lesson is grounding, grounding, dealing with this first chakra, you understand? And at this point, it's Revelation 5.5, 5, the root, the root of David, the base, you understand? Jacob's ladder, the seven seals, the seven chakras, the seven wheels, beginning in red. Red is the first color. The red is the first color. It's r red is first when we count from the bottom. You understand? When we go from low degrees, excuse me, to high degrees. Now, grounding is very important. It's like when Rastafari talk about groundation. Often I say, whatever happened to groundation? You never hear one to say, yeah, I know is going to have a groundation. You understand? Because some, some of the spiritual keys have been lost, and this generation and the younger generation have to be taught these things. Otherwise, they won't be able to overcome, but it's written, you understand, that they will overcome as we will overcome. You understand, keeping, you understand, his commandment and the testimony, the living testimony, being living sacrifice, sacrificing our ego, sacrificing our, well, when we get to the negative qualities, you, you might understand a little better. Of, of why this is an important teaching because the quality and lesson is grounding individuality, stability, individuality, in the visual, indivisible, dual, individual, 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 dual. You know, like in ancient the car, so forth and so on. Very important teaching there. Stability, you understand? Know Security, stillness, stillness. You know the psalm that says, be still and know that I am God? You understand? Even when we chant and meditate that, you understand? Be still. You understand? Taking the time out to even meditate even just on our breath. I mean, this world is so, it is whack, man. I mean, this, 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 this satanistic flip of the script is whack. It, it's, it's evil, but, it's, but on a spiritual level, you understand? You already recognize it's done evil. It's already judged. You understand? But that cannot be fulfilled until that number you understand, is fulfilled. You understand? So we chant, write I and I name with a golden pen. You understand? So that's why we work out our salvation. You understand? And we redeem the time because we recognize the days are evil. So it's the stillness, it's health, it's courage, it's patience. So all of these are attributes in the mastery of the five cycle, in the mastery of the body. You understand? It's being, becoming grounded spiritually. This is what, what remembering the Sabbath, you understand, and the sabbatical portion, the sabbatical studies, the, the daily psalms. These are ways, you understand, in spirit and in truth that each of us individually can ground so that when it's all in all and we come together, you understand, what a, what a, what a, what a happy day that that will be. When we all, <laughs> yeah, see Yeshua. Now, the negative qualities are these. To sum this up, this first, this first level, the first level, 
the code, the color is red. You understand? The negative qualities, this is what we all have to work on is the self-centeredness, the self-centeredness, the insecurity. And we're speaking about the spiritual insecurity. Those of us who say, yes, I don't love God, I don't love God, so forth, when we think about repatriation, when we think about the exodus coming out of Babylon, many of us suffer with more or less levels of certain insecurities, you understand, concerning that. Certain self-centeredness, you understand? Certain violence, violence is another negative quality. Greed, anger, being overly concerned with one's physical survival. That's one of the main things that, that has held up the exodus for, for these 40 years now. Until now, there's a new generation, and the older generation, you understand, many of them have, 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 um, Flew away home to say in a in a in a in a, in a metaphorical um, um, copto Egypto Hebraic um, sort of Ethiopic phrasing of it. They flew away home, and tension in the spine is also another negative quality. Tension in the spine, constipation. You understand? I mean, physical constipation. People might think it's a laughing matter, but. One of the first things that Yeshua, Yeshua's Christos did in the Essene Gospel, I think the Essene Gospel of Peace, is when he took all the poor people, all the afflicted people, he took them out into the country. He took them out into nature. You understand? And he taught them how to purify themselves. He taught them how to even administer, you understand, you could say enemas or colonics to themselves. You understand? Because sometimes we have to flush out the old, you understand, because the old ain't going, the old been in us so long and it's physical. And we're just learning to um, make war, you understand, on these seven enemies, you understand, these, these, these seven blockages, you know what I'm saying, to the full rotation in our temple of his spirit. This is why we have so much when we look at ourselves, all of us, we have these mixed up moods and attitudes, you understand, because instead of focusing, you understand, instead of focusing on, on working out our salvation, you understand, and walking his way, you understand, walking his truth so that we will live his life, you understand, and, and gain the redeemed body, that, that immortal body, you understand, go from mortality to immortality and then get to the eternal life in spirit and in truth. We have to begin those baby steps, you understand, we have to begin those baby steps. So keeping, you know, keeping the Sabbath is a very important um, beginning because we have the six and then we get to the seven and this now is beginning the first the first of the seven seals at the root or at the base of the spine so once again this is Rasi Abinos Tefari reporting for the Lion of Judah Society uh, USA BK Salam Tanat Enayist Alin and I say to all of you, my brothers and sisters, may the King of Kings and, and his Christ, may the spirit of the King of Kings and his Christ be with you and within you always. And most of all, may you receive his Holy Spirit. Salam to Nadia.